much. Hi, Alexander. How are you? I'm Lauren with DCFilmGirl.com. Hi, Lauren. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Congratulations to you on season two. I have to say I am obsessed with heels and Ace is my favorite character. I've seen all of season two and I'm literally still shook from that finale. So congratulations on an amazing second season. I cannot wait for fans to see this because I know that they're going to be excited and it's going to blow everyone away. <laughs> Such a crazy coincidence because you're now my favorite journalist. So it's great. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. And I'll, I'm about to blow you away even more. I'm a huge Hunger Games fan, so I have a Mocking J tattoo here. Oh, I was like, she's got a Twilight poster, but she doesn't have a Hunger Games poster. What the hell's happening right now? Because it's on my body. <laughs> that, there we go. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. I love that. Oh, yes, amazing. yes. Congratulations to you on your first Father's Day, too. I love the Instagram photo you posted earlier. Thank you so much. I literally, she got a little restless. So I was like feeding her, trying to like hire her from the computer as I was doing my interviews. <laughs> Was on oh my TV. God. So yeah. funny. Well, I, yeah, well, like I said, I love the series. I love your character and I love seeing him grow over seasons one and two. And it got me thinking when I'm watching season two, you know, Ace has to deal with the local fame in Duffy, Georgia. You've been in so many amazing films and TV series. You are worldwide famous in real life. And you actually have the fame element to deal with in your career as an actor. How do you separate the fame element in your that you have within this career from like your personal life and how do you decompress I don't I love it I love it I really do I think so many people you know they shy away from it or, or they pretend to shy away from it when secretly that's what they want but the right. truth is this job can never be about fame never chase fame never chase posthumous fame it's just a waste of time and I think celebrity in general is completely overrated but where it's not and where it's the greatest gift ever is when you meet, well, actually people like yourself, but also for me personally, when I meet a kid or I meet somebody who really looks up to something I've done, to me, that's the greatest honor in the world. Um, and all I have to do is be a nice person for uh, five minutes and and you make, and you leave an impact. And that is, that is something I don't take lightly, you know? And um, I think that if you don't make this job about the work, um, and you make it about other things like money or fame, um, you're going to be a miserable human being. Uh, it has to be about the work. And I would, I would argue it's probably the same for your job. Like, of course, we all have ambitions. And of course, we always want to keep pushing forward. But I think that sometimes you just have to have the image of what you want in your head and allow it to happen and just be a good, humble person along the way. Um, and that's what I try to do, you know. Yeah, I think that a lot of other actors could use that advice as well. Like maybe you need to do like an actor's table talk or something. <laughs> I've, I've, I've given my own shred of advice. A lot of a lot of like stars of big Netflix shows and stuff I've talked to and just been like, listen, guys, I'm, you know, I talk to them about a bunch of different things, but I try to remind everybody of that. I'm like, listen, it's a, it's a huge honor and it's amazing. But like you're building a career and it's not just about one show. It's about every decision you make. And the only thing, like the irony in it is that the A-listers that I've had an opportunity to work with, you know, the household names for the last 20 years, um, they're the best of us. And I mean, as people, like, you know, they treat the crew with respect. They, they're they good to their fans. And that's something I've taken to heart. I'm like, well, so nice guys do finish first, you mm -hmm. know? Like yeah. you're always going to have bad apples, but I think that the reason people have long careers is because they're great to work with and they take it seriously. 100%. I do agree. I love the little scene in season two where Ace is working on his vision board and he's trying <laughs> to like literally be better and make these goals. What yeah. would be on Alexander's vision board? What would be on your vision board right now? You know, if I'm being brutally honest with you, like, you know, my vision board when I was 12 is everything I'm living right now. My vision board now is about being a good father to my daughter and my family and anything else that happens. And that's the beauty of having a kid is I'm just like, Oh my God, like nothing else matters. Like nothing. This is bullshit. It's like this. It's just about your friends and your family and enjoying your life. Like, cause I've met extremely wealthy, extremely successful people, you know, and, they're miserable, miserable. And I, I've met some who are really happy because they've done it right. But the point being, that's not the answer. 
So the answer really starts with yourself. And I'm just like, you know, I think we're all here to just grow as human beings. And even the worst things that happen to us, they're, they're here to, to make us better. And I just want to keep working with great people and tell the stories I'm allowed to tell. Um, there's so much that's out of my control. And all I can do is just be a good father to my daughter and, and be a good husband to my wife and good friend and brother, you know, son. I love that. I feel like this was like a great therapy session. Honestly, I would honestly talk to you all day, but they are wrapping me again. Congratulations to you. I saw the covenant twice in theaters this year. It's one of my favorite films. You absolutely killed it in that too. And I'm dying to see what happens with Ace's storyline and also crystal too. I can't wait for season three. We're all going to have to wait another year though. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I know. I don't know why this took so long, but uh, you're you're amazing, Lauren, and, and thank you for being so great. And, and I'm always here if, if you need me or want to talk again. So thanks for of everything. Of course. Yes. No, Alexander, you're one of my favorites. Thank you so much. And again, congratulations to you on this series. Like Ace is the best and you're amazing to talk to. So I will always be a supporter of your work, of course. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. Give that little baby a kiss. I will. I will. All Bye, right. Alexander. Bye. Bye.